Hello there guys and welcome back. So today guys I want to share a video with you on how I'm going to clean the engine bay. The engine bay itself has been maintained pretty well as you can see there's not that much dirt however on the lower end there's a bit of dust and um, which I wanted to address today but I'll be performing a wash just like I would if the engine would be dirty. So before you start cleaning the engine bay, make sure that the uh, engine itself is cool. Um, you may want to cover the battery and you may want to cover the air filter if it is in fact exposed. But everything else should be safe and okay. So first things first, I'm going to apply the APC, which is Bill Hamber Surfix HD. Three sets of brushes I'm using for this job. Uh, the EZ brush that will get into tighter areas. I'm going to use two Viking brushes. One is bigger for bigger surfaces. Um, and the other one is like a long reach brush for more intricate areas. I've diluted Bill Hamburg Surfix HD 1 to 10. And it's a really effective detergent the greaser and it's suitable for engine bays So the cordless pressure washer is ideal for an uh, engine rinse off because it doesn't have um, high pressure that could potentially damage the engine or over flood it with water. It just um, is appropriate for the moment and we're just going to rinse off the APC. I'm going to use a leaf blower as well but I'm going to leave the um, engine slightly wet. I'm just going to blow off the, the bigger, the, the places where the water accumulated the most. And uh, next step will be applying the vinyl and rubber um, <clears throat> dressing from Autoglim. Um, you've seen me use it in my previous videos on um, the exterior of the car. It can also be used on the interior which is mainly is made. It's a water-based um, dressing you can just spray it on the engine and then just leave it to dry and then you can buff it off or you can leave it Chinese up to you but I personally prefer a more matte finish I'm going to use a Sharpie silver marker to finish off the lettering on the um, engine cover um, because it's slightly faded and uh, it really, the marker paint really blends in uh, really well with the rest of the uh, emblem. So we're just going to slightly touch it up. Start on the engine now. No engine check lights. This is the handbrake. This is the seat belt. This is the open door. Let's have a look. It's under the bonnet. Everything works fine. Clean engine bay. No problem whatsoever. The marker blends in really well with the silver. It's 
So thank you for watching the video guys, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video.